photography is a, is definitely a, a big uh, big hobby, but but um, it's also linked to um, to the exploration aspect. What I uh, like uh, behind uh, behind a picture, so I really love to associate. Uh, photography um, with um, with exploration of a, of a new place or reaching a, r reaching a difficult place and then sharing uh, sharing that uh, in um, in a photograph. So that is what I really like to capture, and then I really love to combine um, uh, combine all all the hobbies uh, that I really plan my holidays, for example, around um, a certain a certain photograph that I want to be uh, at a certain place at a certain time. Um, looking, uh, looking somewhere, exploring, um, exploring some location. I also like the fact that um, it um, it challenges me. Like in the in the last holidays, like for for the purpose of getting a, a picture, we had we had to ski, we had to hike, and uh, really um, quite extreme weather conditions to reach a certain place. Uh, that is really um, that is really inspiring. Born, uh, born in Poland, but uh, raised uh, raised in Portugal. Uh, however, I have been living in the Netherlands already for uh, over a decade. Right now, I'm working in uh, ASML, uh, so I'm I'm a, I'm a group leader uh, for the diagnostics and data science uh, group in um, in research, um, where we um, push the boundaries of uh, what is possible to do with uh, with data. With the TU in Eindhoven, we have uh, we have um, academic collaborations. Um, so we are um, we are a research um, organization in um, in ASML, and of course we cannot do that on uh, on our own. So we do need to have um, several um, several academic partners uh, who support us in in that uh, research, and uh, we in the end integrate that and turn that into meaningful solutions. Yeah. I do love my work. Uh, I find the, in my work I find the, uh, the challenges that I'm um, that I'm looking for to really be at the edge of um, of innovation. Um, not only being at the edge of innovation, also doing it in a collaborative uh, collaborative manner, being uh, exposed to uh, world class research that is happening in this uh, domain, and being able to integrate that towards um, meaningful solutions. Having an intense uh, mental work, it does help a lot to have something that disconnects you from um, from that. So having intense sports uh, sports activities does help in that uh, disconnection and uh, prepares us better for um, for more mental activities. So the two need to be balanced overall. Uh, and I do notice in the long run, if I let one go, the other one also starts uh, starts declining. I like to think of myself as an adventure photographer, uh, capturing mostly uh, landscapes uh, and details in those, uh, in those landscapes. A good place for me to take pictures should be a non-trivial place. It should be a place that is um, either difficult to reach or it, uh, it can be a place actually hiding in plain sight. Uh, that it's a place that everybody sees, but uh, but a place that actually nobody saw a certain angle or a certain detail um, or a certain perspective. I 
really like the way uh, light shines uh, through um, um, through a through a cave. Uh, so first, the um, whole concept of a, of a cave, like uh, how is it formed? Was it uh, was it formed by, by uh, flowing uh, flowing water erosion? Um, so it is a fascinating fascinating natural uh, natural formation. And then when we are inside, uh, seeing the the light shining through uh, the light the, uh, at the entrance of, of a cave, I really enjoy the yeah, the opportunity to uh, to capture that in a special way. Photograph is just like the um, uh, one instant of um, of the full process that it uh, that it took to uh, took to get there. So only the um, uh, only the photographer most of the times really knows what it uh, what it really took to uh, to get there to take that picture. And then the challenge is that the end picture uh, transmits. Uh, the same feeling uh, as it was accumulated um, on the full um, on the full process. It is a challenge, and it's very rewarding when somebody just sees that one instant captured by the picture, but is able to understand the emotion behind it. And that makes, I think, um, a photograph very uh, can make a photograph very special. If I would like to be a full-time photographer, I need. I think I need the. Um, I need the the right uh, the right balance. Um, if I was um, if I was doing uh, photography as my full-time job, probably I would be doing science as a hobby. So I would need to create that. Uh, I would need to create that balance if that would happen. Mm -hmm.